what is up y'all we are back again with another reaction to the public freak out foolery fall in love with me i introduce her to the game and let her thug with me see me like bunny and clyde she even clutch in me i feel like it's you or die she give her soul to me she want to be close to me oh she say she fuck with me the long way she say she gonna run my back i had a long day she say baby i ain't gonna lead you down the wrong way Okay, so this one is going to be Public Freakout Compilation number 130. And again, it's coming from the Daily uh, daily Public Freakouts uh, YouTube page. So make sure y'all go over there and show them some love. This is where I am getting the videos from. I do not own the rights to these videos because the last video from the one that was Cops vs. Citizens got copyright claimed because the clip in there where... Um, the H-E-B clip that apparently belonged to somebody and so they copyright claimed it. My shit stay getting copyright claimed, restricted, age restricted. At this point, I don't really give a fuck. I'm not monetized, so I'm not even worried about it because I'm not going to take my content down because y'all don't know what fair use is or y'all making up y'all own guidelines on what shit sh should and shouldn't be. My page ain't marked for kids. They shouldn't be on my shit anyway. And even if it was, y'all put up that, are you 18 or older, please confirm. Y'all think little kids don't know how to hit okay, continue. Man, if y'all get the fuck out of my face with that shit, bro, I'll tell you, that's why I be sick of YouTube. So, that one got a copyright claim, but nevertheless, because the views are going up on it, so it don't even matter. I'm not finna let YouTube hold me back. I'm still gonna do my thing, okay? Even though I'm sick of it, I'm still going to do my thing. And I thank y'all for rocking with me. Again, if you don't like frequent pauses, if you don't like cussing, I get aggressive, I might cuss, I might say some shit. I say, I say shit, okay? If you've got a problem with my hairline, you got a problem with the acne in my face, please exit stage left, right, front, or back. All right, I just gave you time to do that. You still here? Cool. That means you fuck with me for real. So make sure you hit that subscribe button too, by the way. So let's make sure we're recording. Bow, 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 bow. Go. What? What? Get that shit off video. Firearm on me. So you're just gonna follow me, just so you know. Three. Damn, two. that's how you, you feeling? Got, you got what? What you say? That's far. Did he say he got fired? Hey, what? See, look, he just he said he got fire on. Damn. He said, you know, he calling the niggas. Damn. Put that shit over you. What do you think, Dylan? What do you think? Nigga, calm. Cool. Hold on. Oh, my God. You threatened to shoot me, sir? Hold up, because they probably wouldn't even fucking with him. This is why I don't like gentrification. This is why, let me just speak on that for a minute, because you sitting here, I don't know if he said something about Africa, I couldn't really hear, but he, I don't know if he said go back to where you're from as far as like Africa or the hood. I know he mentioned the hood or this not being your area. First of all, let me tell y'all something, because they doing this shit in Houston and this pissing me off. Gentrification is a motherfucker. They turning all of our black hoods, our authentic black hoods, because Houston has multiple landmarks multiple important african-american landmarks like that fucking midtown shit no bitch that's freeman's town it's fourth ward i don't fuck with midtown midtown is some gentrified shit they are coming over here buying up all our property gentrifying our shit kicking our black folks out and no so i'm gonna be where i want to be i'm gonna be where i want to be you can't tell me where i can and cannot be I don't care if y'all have gentrified this i don't care if this is considered y'all neighborhood in your mind i don't give a fuck i'm here I can go wherever the fuck I want. I got legs, feet, a car, a bike. I can get there. That shit makes me sick. I just... It's so irrelevant. Well, it's so Is this Walmart again? Take your bitch ass. your Is this Walmart? Yeah. Or oh, is that Randall's? What is it with these old angry ass white men? Somebody get them some prostitutes or some, some sex or something. They need some, some something. Is it one more? Mm -hmm. 
How you gonna cuss out the security guard? I'll be your execution. Now I'm not your prosecutor, boy. Beat your big man. What you beat your big man, boy? I hate you know what? In the words of my favorite, Michael Evans from Good Times, boy is a white racist word. Period. Don't use that shit. Fucking hate that word. Boy, hate girls. You know bitch. Bitch, I'm about to your ass. You're you talking mad high yeah. shit to a nigga that got gear. Oh no, I would have been put him in handcuffs. Get away from me! Leave me alone! Is that a man over? Close the store. That's a man over. Is that a man over? It's on. really selfish what you're doing, sir. You're making everyone else go you uncomfortable. Need to shut up and leave oh, that's me alone. Walk away! Oh, that's that's Do a man. Do it now! Walk away no, from me! That. Leave me alone! I'm just shopping. Hold my phone I'm out. I'm not We're asking you. you. I'm telling you, leave me alone. There is no reason for you to stand here and continue to bother me. Oh, now walk away! You should have a mask on. Walk! Nope. Get going. I don't give a damn who he is. He needs to walk away and leave me alone. I think what you're doing is really selfish. Hey, hey, go away. Karen Cooper refused to wear masks. Get that camera out of my face. All right, very selfish. <coughs> These are, this is why we're in the pandemic, because people like this. Selfish, selfish. Hey, oh, selfish. mandatory like, mask, here. too. You guys think you don't have to follow rules? All right, have a good day. Guys. See, I'm glad they put mandatory on there. Oh, uh, you're on video, actually. Is he going around just fucking with people in the store that ain't got no mask on? Okay, yeah, he must. This, this must be what's going on. Part of those rules is the store. So you need to kind of disrespectful to people in the store. Call me bullshit is what it is. I yeah, I think that's what he doing. Said. Okay, so with the mask thing, especially now, I don't know who require mask and who don't. I don't wear mine as much, but I always keep it on me just in case I go into an establishment and they say I have to have one. Um, and I will put one on. I am fully vaccinated, whether that matter or not. And it don't really, that's irrelevant because that's going to be a whole nother shit for people to talk about in the comments but i bring a mask with me just in case i get somewhere and they require for you to have a mask on um i always have one like i had to do job interviews and one of my job interviews was with like the city like with uh harris county or the county i should say in the courthouse and stuff so you have to have a mask like when you go interview so i always just keep one just in case like i know it's not mandatory no more but at the end of the day people still have the right to say you have to wear a mask so i always wear one just in case if this was when the mask was mandatory and y'all being rebellious y'all fucked up for that because it, it was mandatory now if it ain't mandatory what i'm not gonna do is walk around with no fucking camera fucking with people who ain't got no mask on not not at this time and i just don't feel like like you got too much time on your hands like why do people fuck with other people <laughs> like why I don't even like the store, bro. I be trying to get in and get out. I hate going to the grocery store. I don't cook. I don't like none of that shit. Like, I, I just, right. I don't like it. I don't fuck with it. All right. It's kind of, it's, it's guys stupid. mind if I show you to my TikTok channel? I barely got time to sleep. What do I give a damn about your TikTok channel? Male dog pee. Male dog pee. Even the real estate guy said it. No, it, does, it don't even smell like cat poop up here at all. It doesn't. No. And then the burnt food that you were burning the other day trying to burn the house down. Yes. Is that a human yes. in the hole? The chicken that you were burning. He was, he was cooking. Okay. We we burnt one piece on that, if we wanted to burn the house down, it would have been burnt burn down it. already. Uh, no, because we came here. We would have still burned it with you in here because ain't nobody want you around anyway. Yeah, you're going to burn the house down with me in it. Okay. What happened? You didn't have the balls. You is she in the hole? What you the fuck? You wouldn't. Like you don't have the balls to drag my mom. So it's a hole in the door person. and she on the other I'm side of the hole. I'm doing hole. everything the legal way and making sure you're the Wait, getting in trouble when I'm That's, That's fine. That's fine. Is this I mean, like a landlord type situation? situation? Sorry that you don't. Oh hell, here, here we go with the subway shit again. Don't I have 
Well, white people do it. They all, they hate semi restricted. No, it's not. They're breaking my law. You're falling it down. I'm not. I have free. So the law breaking the law? I don't need to search. Yes, you do. Like he was about to shed tears over that motherfucking sandwich. That nigga wants that sandwich for real. Like he had a whole like tantrum child moment. Like I want my sandwich. Like <laughs> I'm in the brain. <laughs> oh god, what is it with Subway and Walmart? Because that's what you're supposed to do. I hate when non-maskers like tell other people don't wear a mask. What like, is it? The fuck? What is it? You say? What you say? Oh, what you say? Go on for what? What? Oh, he got this stance. Yeah, I'm the wrong neighborhood. How about we kick your ass right now? How about we kick your ass right now? Uh oh. How about we beat your is he black? ass right now? Tough. Yeah, you're real f tough, right? You f I can't get the fuck out of here. Exactly. I got some in my van. Get the fuck out of here, piece of shit. Kick your fucking ass all over the street. Now you're not so f tough now, right? Yeah, go smoke that you're not so f tough now, that right? Crack. Make you a big tough guy. Hey, where you going? What happened? I thought you were tough. Well, he gone now. Stop fucking with fucking him, shit. shit. I mean, he did have to like fuck him if you want to stand at first, but he gone now. Not, I don't want don't tell me this Walmart again. Nah, this look like a. It's different because stores are different in different states. So, like, to me, that look more like a food of but wherever they at. Like, you don't want to start with these at all. You don't. I'm not the one. I'm not the one. Try not the one. Ooh. Ooh. What happened? Oh, she choosing violence. Oh no, it was getting good. Oh, she, oh, she choosing violence. She finna get into some gangster shit. That's a big ass woman. What the hell? <laughs> Y'all. She was finna get into some gangsters. She was like this big. That lady was big. I, <laughs> I don't be knowing what's happening. Like the whole, I'm gonna have to start doing ones with a little backstory, but then I don't like those because the narrator voices be like real weird and shit. They be so in this clip. Like I don't wanna hear all that shit. But yeah, she was choosing violence for sure. Like, she for sure, like, took off her clothes and was ready to fight this big-ass woman. Ma'am, you got to pick your battles. <laughs> like, you, you got to pick your battles. I, I mean, I understand size don't always matter when you fighting because I'm relatively small. Like, I'm not her small. I'm like five, six hundred, sixty-five 665 pounds, something like that. I'm pretty sure you got to see my full body if you a faithful YouTube person. But with me, it's like... When it comes to size, size don't matter because they always say, you know, the, the the bigger they are, the harder they fall or some shit. I can't think of the name of it. But people think just because you're bigger that you are automatically going to win the fight just because you're bigger. That's not always true. And people think just because it's a little person, they can whoop a little person's ass. It has nothing to do with size. It has nothing to do with none of that. It all comes down to your motherfucking fighting skills. 
it comes down to your fighting skills at the end of the day. Now, sis was kind of big, and the girl that was choosing violence was kind of small. But she might have them things, though. We don't know. Now, with me, I don't give a fuck how big you are. Because <laughs> I actually was taught how to fight. So, nigga, I know what parts of your body to go for that's going to knock you off your motherfucking feet, whether you a man or a female. I know where to hit you. So, the whole, like, basing it on weight thing is just kind of like, uh. But then at the same time, if you this motherfucking big, you easily breakable. Like, you, it don't take but one wrong motherfucking move. And... The way she was reacting and popping off like that lets me further know she choosing violence but ain't ready for the violence. Because let me tell you, this is how I operate. I get into gangster shit, but I only get into gangster shit if I have to because for one, I'm old, okay? I, just, I might just be 30, but my body old. So when I fight, first of all, I don't talk. I don't talk. I don't yell. I don't do that finger point. I don't, that's, we not finna discuss shit. I'm finna just punch you in the face. I'm gonna be real calm. I'm a calm fighter. Like I start off calm and you're gonna be doing all that talking. And next thing you know, your motherfucking body gonna be on the ground. Cause I'm that fast. And once I get you on the ground, that's when my mind goes into crazy mode and I keep attacking you because at this point, I don't know what's going on. You have to be very calculated when you're fighting. You can't just go, bitch, I'm finna whoop your motherfucking head. You can't just go taking off clothes and doing all this wild shit and doing the most. Somebody can easily catch you slipping like that. That ain't how you fight right. You don't fight like that. If you gonna fight, get into some nigga shit, calm the fuck down. Like, bitch, what you want? What you want? I'm gonna ask you twice, what you want? Oh, okay. Boop, I'm done. That's it. I don't even do nothing else. I'm not taking off no fucking clothes. I ain't doing all that shit. We just gonna have to, we gonna have to fight. Because I ain't, I ain't got time for the extra shit. Like, no, just knock a bitch out. Catch them slipping. Everything gotta be calculated. Wait till they got their motherfucking guard down. You, it's so many rules to this shit. Like, my godfather, I kid y'all not, if I find the video, I'm gonna I'm a post it. Like, either in the beginning of this clip, or I'm going to post it as a short or something like that. I don't know. But I got to show y'all this video that I have of, I was a baby. I was literally not even one years old. And my grandpa had, like, this black baby doll. It was a boy. It was a boy doll. So, I thought about it, and I'm so mad I can't show y'all that clip. Because it's me as a baby. And I don't want YouTube, like, doing the fucking most and shit. Talking about I got babies on the motherfucking channel, even though it's clearly me. So, I can't show it to y'all, but that shit was funny as hell. And he literally puts me on top of the baby doll and was like, whoop his ass, whoop his ass, whoop his ass. Now, it, so from then, I've been conditioned to fight. And then my godfather, we used to watch wrestling. I used to fuck with WWE hard than a bitch, okay? I thought I was trying to, y'all had me fucked up. But... I literally, he made me wrestle. He made me fight him. He made me learn techniques. He made me learn how to defend myself. He made me learn how to hold my hands. Then when he passed away, I grew up with brothers. And my brothers made me fight. So it's like I was always trained on how to fight. That's why I try not to get into gangster shit. Because I know what I'm capable of. So if you're going to be doing all that shit out there, I'm just trying to get y'all a quick lesson on fighting. Fuck all that talking. Fuck all that taking your clothes, all that extra shit. Catch somebody when they motherfucking sleep and make sure all of your fucking moves are calculated. And I'm a Virgo, so my shit analyze before I even do it. Like, your whole objective is to keep fucking going to where your opponent cannot, the minute your opponent catch you slipping, you can possibly lose a fight. You do not stop until your opponent is down. Period. I just had to throw that little bit in there. But, um, yeah, so that was that one, and I will see y'all in the next one. I'm only recording two tonight, but I'm going to try to get some all done throughout the week and record as much as I can. But, again, I start my new job this week. Yay! I can't tell y'all where I work, though. If I do start my Patreon, then I will get in some more detail about everything and all that. So, until the next one, I will see y'all later. Bye!